Previously on the BB I build. After removing both drive shafts from the car, I then spent many hours stripping them apart, not an easy task, on a car that has been sat around unmoved for so long. All those individual components were then put to one side with the intention of refurbishing them all. However, in the process, I made one very stupid but vital mistake. My first problem was that I had misplaced a few parts. With items at the plater shop and in various other places, it was time for a major sort out, putting the sub assemblies into their own individual boxes, and then it was time to get to work rectifying the problem. We're mixing up a few jobs here. Now the next one I'm just working on is the drive shafts for the BBI. And we've got a load of bits on order, but I've got to put my hands up. I made a complete balls up with this one in more than one sense. The first one are these balls, the ball bearings. Now, what I did was I left these on the floor at the shop for the best part of a year. And when I looked at them the other day, dug them out, well, they look horrendous. As you can see, they're uh, covered in rust. Uh, and what we're trying to do right now is rectify all of this rust. So I'm trying various solutions. First of all, guys, if you've got any tips, any ideas on how to remove some of this rust, it'll be brilliant. I think for sure that these ball bearings are totally beyond repair. Like I say, they've pitted. So we're gonna try and get some of these. Be measuring them up. They are just over 22 millimeters. Uh, and I think the, the just over bit is the rust that is there on one of the surfaces. I can't find a clean surface to measure off the whole lot. But we've tried this stuff. We're also doing a bit of wet and dry on uh, some of the outer surfaces. Now, this one is starting to come up quite nicely. It's looking quite shiny. And then we've got uh, that one, as I showed you, is the worst one. We haven't touched that one at the moment. It was the second worst one. The actual worst one was this one here. Starting to look good. All these, uh, these cups are starting to come up nicely as well. In a bit, the main things here, all this surface is quite smooth. So if we can get some nice ball bearings, I think we can actually recover these. Now, like I say, 22 mil. Uh, the one thing I'm not sure about, I think they've rusted so badly is they are just stainless, uh, they're just straight steel. Now, can I upgrade these to stainless steel or do I need to replace them with the same uh, type of bearings? So I'm using a real fine grade, wet and dry, just, to make sure that all of these have not been pitted or anything like that. And that is really gonna be the deciding factor. As long as they're okay, and our ball race thing here, these are okay. With some new bearings, we should be able to recover these. Gonna put some of this solution. It's rust converter. I'm using this, if anyone's got any, I uh, think better. I'm using this. So I had it in the garage, and it's also um, not really the best time of year to order products. They're not all going to get delivered until well into January at the moment for anything uh, that I can find. That I would like to use on here. But if anyone's got any great ideas for um, getting rid of rust, something maybe I could soak in a vat of uh, five liters of it overnight or for a few days, let me know, because uh, if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to go to plan B, and then plan C is to um, open up the wallet and buy some new ones, which I don't wanna do. So we're gonna leave this for half an hour, we're gonna bake it in the oven, and it's gonna come up lovely and crispy and fluffy, and then Owen's gonna sample it, aren't you, Owen? <laughs> I'm kidding, don't try that at home. Let's just leave it <laughs> half an hour, just for sake. We'll add that with our pile. Here's a couple I made earlier. This one's been, was it this one? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, this was yeah. the half an hour one, so. Let's we'll see, we'll give this a little clean up. Right, let's put that out. Yeah. Thank you. 
this one has literally had some of that product on, but we haven't actually touched anything with any uh, wet and dry or anything like that. So you can still see we've still got some of the rust here and a little bit here, but most of it is pretty good. Now the beauty of having a YouTube channel and an amazing following like you guys is, you really do help me out. I've just put a shout out on Instagram and I've already had a load of you uh, come back to me with some recommendations. So it's all about these bearings here. Like I say, we're doing the job and I really want to get the bits that I need to order up, order up today so they can turn up hopefully at the same time as the other bits I've got coming from Superformance. Now, um, it was all to do with the bearings. Now, I wanted some recommendations on where I could get these. Fortunately, I put it on YouTube, on YouTube, on Instagram, and um, luckily I did because it was 22.2 mil here, and I just thought the extra bit was the rust, but it's not, it transpires to a 7 8 imperial size bearing. Now, I've just spoken to one of the recommendations that a lot of you have said, which are simply bearings here in the UK, no affiliation, but I've got to say, the guys were fantastic. Very, very helpful. I had a few questions of what type of bearings to order up. They have said this uh, chrome um, plated, I think it was, type steel bearing. Uh, these are the ones I need for the CV, not stainless steel ones. You could use them, uh, but then for more of a water-based product, these are the most popular ones to do anything with a CV. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, and if you're not already, make sure you check out the Instagram channel and follow me on there because it really does help me with this build because I am not an expert. Cheers guys. The next day. And as if by magic, the beauty of YouTube means I can cut in. Now we are less than 24 hours later. I put the post out on uh, Instagram yesterday afternoon. Many of you recommended Simply Bearings. Again, no affiliation at all. These arrived this morning. We have got 30 of them. Uh, they cost me, with the uh, extra cost for shipping, next day, next morning, uh, about £50. Uh, but lovely, lovely, shiny new balls there. And they're, again, completely my fault. Had I have taken these things apart, they were perfect when they came out of the car. And um, if I'd have simply protected them in a right environment, maybe brought them back here, that wouldn't have happened. <coughs> it wouldn't have cost me £50. But £50 is a heck of a lot less than brand new ones from Ferrari. So thank you very much, guys. Okay, so we sorted out the problem on the bearings. We are in the conservatory. Uh, it's the only place we can film at the moment. And apologies if you can hear the, uh, the rain in the background, but everywhere shot, it's Christmas period. So, bearings are sorted. The next job is we're gonna go the extra uh, step on all of the bits that were a little bit rusted. Now we've put the uh, rust cleaner on it. It's done a really good job. We've kind of done a bit on it and the final stage we are going to do is use these wire brush attachments for our drill and to get into the small little areas we're going to be using these these are british toothbrushes that's right you guys across the pond over there all believe that the uh, british set of dentures are terrible so we have to use these wire brushes these are actually owens obviously i'm kidding uh, anyway, we're going to be using those for the next stage and we have a nice little delivery here of some new bits so we can assemble all of this once we're done. We've got four brand new boot kits to go on. Uh, we've got all the stuff here from the platers looking very nice and shiny. We've got a few clips over here and as a backup, just in case, I've got a little bit more grease just in case you never seem to get enough in the packets that come with these things. So Owen's going to uh, start cleaning this up. Once we're ready, we're going to start assembling it, pack it all up, and it's ready to go on the car. Cut to O.
Check this out. You wouldn't believe this is the same thing. I, I this is no camera trickery. This is the same axle set. These things have come out absolutely amazing. I was very worried to begin with when we looked at the rust on it and how much rust there was that we were going to have some pitting in there and that is crucial when you are talking about bearings and as you can see that is as good as new. Same with the uh, these ball race things. Again worried about pitting on those but they have come out perfectly and final bit here are these kind of the big heavy collars. Uh, so now everything is ready all we need to do is reassemble it and make it like new. Actually it's probably going to be better than new this thing. Let's do it. All of those are exactly the same. All of those are exactly the same. Now often when I'm rebuilding Ferrari bits, I heavily rely on the parts schematics that Ferrari produce. This is really, really in depth. Unfortunately, with the BBI 1983, they weren't on their game back then. And uh, well, the pictures are not very helpful at all. So luckily, 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 I took loads of videos, loads of pictures, and we're referring to those and we have just spent about 20 minutes trying to figure out now it's really really quite tricky here because you've got so many differences now for example if i look at this you can see this has got a completely flat face on it look at this side it's just got a raised part as well and that is the same with all of these bits here we've got a groove on here and even these a slightly different one side to the next. One of them's just got a slight little chamfer there and one of them's slightly more flat. So we figured it out. Took a little bit of time, worth doing. Oh, with the final thing, it was which way around this thing goes. One of them has got two ridges. This one here, nothing at all. So this goes to our hub side, this goes to our engine side and we figured out these. So now, once we've done that, that was a hard bit, we can put it back together. Now, as with many of the jobs, I am no expert and I often ask for your help. With this one, we kind of figured it out and we have had some hurdles on this. Simplest little things have wasted two hours here. So, let me explain what's happened. Um, we have put them together, as you saw earlier. Now, there is one very simple trick or way to put these together that we happen to do wrong on all four and that caused a load of kind of headaches. So let me show you on this one here. If you look at this center bit here, we've got big, small, big, small, big, small. Okay, and then on the outside here, we've got a small little groove, big area, small, big, small, big. And what we've done is we matched up big with big, small with small. Okay, you would think that was logic. When I then started to put it together, tried to move it. Now bearing in mind there's no uh, grease on this at all, but I have zero movement whatsoever. It's seized in there. So I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna keep these pinkies nice and clean. But if you look at these ones here, I greased them up 
and we still had very little movement. And there's a load of grease. I took it all apart, stripped it, greased it completely. And what I could do was I could move the ball race slightly, but the center section was completely rigid. So what that meant was when you got a shaft here, our axle shaft, and you've got it connected to the engine, there's zero movement there. There was nothing gonna happen. So we're gonna have major problems down the line. And I was thinking, doubting myself, what's going on with it, researching it, couldn't find much on, online. I'm then thinking maybe the bearings are just slightly bigger. So we remeasured our bearings three times, just checked various ones, everything was okay. Um, well, luckily the internet helped me out. We managed to find a video and stupidly, once I saw it, I realized I remembered what we had done wrong. Basically with this, what we were supposed to do is match up the big area here with the small area and then the small area with the big area. And once you do that, you've got much more movement. Now again, bearing in mind this has got no grease on it at all, so I'm gonna be very careful here. But we can move it. This one seized solid. And I'll show you again in a second when I've got some gloves on with the greased up ones. But you can see even with this center one here, it's all off center. That's because we've got plenty of movement on it. So we need to now put this one correct, grease this one up, and then all four are finished. We're gonna just clean up the outside, put the boots on, and job done. Now we've got this lovely and greased up. Look at that, much better, much, much better. Now, this was really bugging me, and I'm now happy to put this back on the car. Imagine if I put this on the car, and we left it with that problem, and we've just refurbished the whole thing, trying to figure out what the heck was gonna cause that problem would have been a bit of a nightmare. So, so we figured it all out. The only issue is, I borrowed this table off Lexi, so I'm really hoping um, you're not watching this, Lexi, because I'm really sorry, we've made rather a bit of mess. We've wrecked the table, and um, look how many gloves we've gone through so far. We haven't even finished yet, so. Sorry about that. Let me get that in the right place. Then we've got to get our grease in there. Uh, so I'm gonna do one side at a time. So that, then we have got to put on one of these, our little washer. Then we need one of these. I've got to line that up with our holes there. On there. We used two of these so far. This is the second one now. So just pack everything in here with grease. You want to get in there, right? Pack all the bearings. Loads of this stuff. All down there. shaft all the way through here. Okay, so I'm gonna knock that through slightly, and then we're gonna add a load more grease in here. And then I've got a little locking clip that's gonna go on the end. I need to just put it in there. There we go. This is where all our extra grease went. Grease worm. Go. All right. Super. Lovely. Right. Next tricky bit is getting this boot over. We've only done one side though. We've got the other side to go. Right, this is looking good. Uh
Lovely. Look at that. Collars on. Nice and tight. All cleaned up, last little bit is to put on the pretty shiny nuts and bolts fixing. So we've got all the little uh, locking tabs here, all the nuts and bolts there, and even some new ones. And there we have it guys, that is the finished product. Now I'm super happy with this. You would really not believe that is the same thing that came off the car. Um, and it saved me almost 3,000 pounds trying to get that. And we've got the original stuff here still from the car that was built at factory. And it actually probably looks a little bit better than it did when it came out of factory. Super, super happy with this. 3,000 pounds saving. And what's it cost me? It's been about 50 pounds in the ball bearings, the bush, about 150 pounds all in with all the materials. So really, really, really worthwhile. Elbow grease is all it took to do this one and a little bit of thought process did have me puzzled with some of these little jobs on here. Anyway, that's done. We're gonna wrap it up. Now some of these bits I have left loose by the way before you comment because this has got to go to the engine side. This has got to go to the uh, suspension, the hub. And when we do that, I'll take these off. We'll grease all this side of things and we'll put it on the car. Last little job on this one. We're gonna wrap it up and not make the same mistake again. This is gonna get bubble wrapped. It's gonna go in my storage container. It's gonna go in the pile of bits that are already completed, ready to go on the car. And then one final job is me and I are gonna get the marigolds back on, scrub the table because otherwise I'm gonna be in big trouble with Lexi. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you can check out what I get up to on a daily basis over on my socials. Until the next time, stay safe. Ciao for now. Now I've got to put my hands up here. I made a complete. There we go. And a considerable amount of, a considerable. <laughs> I'm spinning my greasy balls. Look at that. What's it gonna be, eh? You want the yellow or the pink? Because I'm wearing the black ones. Let's do this.